exceptions, we're back inside and another fun experiment that you can try at home with some household items. Um, but what I've actually got here is some air drying modeling clay. So you probably don't have this and they probably don't sell it at the supermarket and since only essential shops are open, we can think of an alternative, so don't worry. I just thought I'd start and I'll show you this clay and I'm gonna mold it today into a volcano shape. So that's very exciting. So as I'm molding it, have a think about what we need if we want to make a volcano explode. Okay, that's great. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back to you with the explosion. Amazing. Hello Receptions. I'm back here to show you a couple of versions of our volcano experiment. You can see here the air drying clay is on its way to being finished and I've created a volcano shape. So we'll get to that one in a moment. I just wanted to show the experiment in a glass jar here um, because that's something you might have at home. So I've tried to make it as easy as possible with things that you'd have in your pantry. I just scrounged through the recycling bin to get this glass bottle. So that's really great. Today we're gonna to be showing you a chemical reaction between our vinegar and some bicarb soda. I'm gonna add a little bit of red dye as well to make it look like a crazy eruption from a volcano. So let's get to it. I have a measured amount of vinegar here. This is a half cup of vinegar that I've just poured in. And I'm gonna add a few drops of the red food dye to get that ready. You would have seen this dye in our other rainbow experiment. So I've just added about four or five drops there. Put that on the sink. Swirl that around. And I'm going to measure a quarter cup of bicarb soda and funnel it into our glass jar. So I'll measure that out, that's 60 of bicarb soda. So pop that into your volcano. Beautiful, take out the funnel. And are you ready? I'm gonna pour in the vinegar and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Crazy. Not mixing super well at the bottom. Should have kept the funnel in as well. <laughs> Let's bring that back and see if that helps. Whoa! Whoa! That's that vinegar is reacting with the bicarb soda, creating a chemical reaction and it's exploding out of the glass jar. Still got some bicarb there. That's great. Okay, receptions, I'm now going to create the same chemical reaction in my clay volcano here. 
So I'm going to add scoops of the bicarb soda into my volcano. I'm going to add an extra scoop today because it's a really deep volcano and I want to see it exploding out the top. Oh, I might even do another half. Okay, and now we need to mix up our vinegar. So I'm going to measure up to one cup to get that ready with the dye. Well, do you know what? Let's fill it up to two cups in case we need extra. I've got the red food colouring. Add some drops. Swirl it round. And are you ready to see an explosion? Here we go. I'm going to pour it in. Whoa! You can see that all reacting, pushing out the carbon dioxide, bubbling away. It's a crazy volcano. Whoa! It keeps exploding. <laughs> Whoa! Last little bit, oh my goodness! It's still bubbling in the top. That was crazy. And you can see I've used a tray to capture all of that lava. Well done, well done receptions. Have a go at home if you can. Okay, bye.